This is the abdominal exercise. It's called the pelvic clock. You may want to watch the video a couple of times just to get the gist of uh, the exercise down. It's a little bit confusing. Uh, the analogy that I use or the comparison that I use to, to help people to, to become aware of this is to use the analogy of, of a clock, uh, placing it like this, where the 12 o'clock position is here, 6 is here, 3 is there, and 9 is there. So when I use those numbers, that's what I'm referring to. And I'm going to put the clock right next to me like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie down such that my knees are bent and I'm flat. And thinking about where that clock is, if I was sitting on top of it, the 12 o'clock position of the pelvis is gently tilted backwards like this. So watch how my pelvis moves. So here's my relaxed position. 12 o'clock as, is as if I am tilting my pelvis backwards to touch the 12. And when I do this consequently, my lower back flattens down against the mat a little bit. So this is the 12 o'clock position. The 6 o'clock position is going to be tipping the pelvis forward as if, I, as if I'm emptying a bowl, which is my pelvis, forward towards the 6. So here are the two ranges. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Now the 3 o'clock is going to be as if you are taking your pelvis and tipping it down towards the 3. So when I do this, this side of my pelvis tips down and the other side tips up. So that's a 3 o'clock. And then the 9 o'clock, as you can imagine, would be just the opposite tilting the other side down and coming up. So to start with, what I want you to do is to try to get each position of that and do it nice and gently and firmly. Don't overstretch it. It's more about coordinating the motion. Uh, I want you to do 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, five times each, nice and slowly. And then I want you to do 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock, five times each. And when you do this too, do not try to use your legs to facilitate the motion. The motion should be coming mostly from your pelvis. If, if I'm tilting the three and my legs go with it a little bit, that's okay, but my legs shouldn't be flopping over to the side like that. So after you, you do 12 and six five times and then three and nine five times, what I want you to do is to start at 12 af at the beginning and try to scour your pelvis all the way around so that you're getting every number on that clock. And that's a little confusing to some people. But look at what I'm doing right now. I'm scouring around. I'm starting at 12. This time I'll go the opposite way. 12, 11, 10. There's my 9, 8, 7, now my six is I'm tilted forward, five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm back to 12. Whatever part of this clock feels the least coordinated to you, you need to spend extra time working on it. So what you want to do with the, the coordination of the whole motion is go clockwise all the way around five times and then counterclockwise all the way around five times.